Why, hello, everybody. It is 8.09 p.m. here in dark Columbia, South America. It's been a good day. It hadn't been too awful hot here. It was cloudy today. Uh, oh, boy. <laughs> we had an interesting day, and uh, I'm going to tell you guys about it. Uh, we... We got three new guys, so I was like, we're going to run them through the ringer tonight. And I think in the earlier video, I don't know which way I was leaning at that moment this morning. I believe I was leaning at the moment, well, I'm pretty sure I was, that I was going to let these guys go at each other in the sparring. But when I got up there, I was like, nah, I'm going to have Joe spar all of them and go round and round. Get, get Joe some more work. Uh, it was such a damn experience. These kids got video of each of themselves with Joe. And I, I'm going to get some video to... Uh, I didn't video nothing. It was that damn wide open. Uh, all three of these kids can fight. That, that's the first thing we deduced. Uh, they just, they just need, need some skills. Uh, one of these guys is about 138 to 43 pounds. Uh, I'll call him 140. It's a little guy. He's a lot shorter than Joe. Joe's 5'9". This guy's significantly shorter, so I think he's probably 5'6". Or so. Not sure about the height, but uh, all three of these kids can stroke. And, of course, I inhibited, I guess that'd be a good word for it, Joe. And uh, held Joe out, and I was out, I, I did what I normally do. I did right at the very beginning, I told each of these boys, y'all going to go... Uh, a two-minute round with Joe, one at a time, and Joe's not going to hit you, but you need to hit Joe as hard as you can. You need to go dead on him. And Joe's moving, boy, and the one guy, he's 17, and this damn boy, I can't express to you. I don't know how it's going to look on video. Uh, this damn boy can move, and he's 140-ish pounds, and, you know, Joe's a lot heavier than that. He's a lot bigger and stronger than his kid. This damn kid, boy, after the first round with this kid, and, and Joe just kept going round after round with these boys, one of the boys stopped after, I think, two rounds, Joe tagged him, and that was the, the, the second series of rounds when I told Joe and, and told these other guys, I said, Joe's going to throw a jab at you, but that's all he's going to throw. Now you try to hit Joe. And Joe clocked one of them pretty good in the nose, and it, he he got pretty dizzy. And this kid is about 5'8", about maybe 160 is what I'm thinking. I don't know his, I don't know any of these boys exact weight. That kid, he's about five five well, he's about five seven, maybe five eight and one sixty. He's fifteen, so he's a big kid for that age. And uh uh so he he bowed out and he was just like, Nah, I don't wanna go no more and I was like, well, come on back now because uh don't quit, don't go through all this and just quit. So we hope he comes back. And that, that dude can fight. Boy, he was trying his damnedest to nail Joe. And he, he's got a stronger punch of the three fellas. But this one kid, this 140-ish, uh, he's probably about 5'6 or 5'7 himself. But a little bit lighter. And, and uh, like I said, 140-ish. I had to weigh him really to see. This damn kid so fast, I, I, oh my God. 
Joe went, by the time the second round was going, and all Joe could throw was a jab, and Joe's moving and ducking and dodging and uh, slipping and rolling and all sorts of shit, doing everything he can, you know, sidestepping this kid, everything. And uh, Joe knocked the hell out of this guy about two or three times just with the jab. And that kid, boy, he took it. And uh, we, I believe it was after the second round with that kid, Joe looks over at me and says, you know, Joe, Joe's not a big talker. He's got a deep voice and uh, he's got a half-ass English and Spanish accent. Mama talking to him all his life in Spanish, making sure he's got knows that language. Me obviously talking in English because my Spanish is awful. I know just enough to communicate to get what I need and get where I need to be, but involved conversations I don't do in Spanish, but uh, I don't do in English, really. But uh, Joe looks up and he says, Daddy, this boy, this kid is working me. He's working me. I said, we got our guy. We, we got our guy. So I hope, I hope this kid sticks around. This is a tough as nails, strong kid. He'll be 17, so he's older than Joe. Uh, he, he's a tough kid. He's a strict kid. This kid's tough. And, uh, boy, he worked with Joe. They kept going, kept going, kept going. The kid, the kid boy, he, he went till he couldn't go no more. So mad respect to that kid. But he, uh, uh, so he gassed out pretty much completely. And uh, Joe wasn't real. But of course, I can't let Joe go full out on these kids. And, uh, you know, we had the professional come from Venezuela, and Joe could have worked him out the door. I mean, Joe can really hit you guys. Uh, he didn't... The, the boy can hit. And uh, Joe, Joe has to be very restrictive uh, with these kids or any teenagers or anything like that. And uh, uh, so Joe's like throwing punches, but he's, he's actually going slow. Uh, not that Joe's the fastest guy in the world because uh, he's, he's pretty damn big. Uh, he was like, oh, and that kid was moving, and uh, Joe would be facing this kid, and this kid would be right here in front of him, and before you know it, this kid would be over here. He'd be over here behind Joe, and boy, it was a sight to behold. That damn little boy can, can move, boy. I mean, ridiculously fast, <laughs> and uh, I was like, well, we got a good good quality spar with Joe. So they're coming back Monday. So, uh, of course, Joe be worked six days a week normally. And uh, he worked seven, but I, I make sure that Sundays I don't like it. And uh, so we, I, I make him rest. But... Uh, and Joe will let me know. He might go uh, three weeks, six days a week, one or two times a day, uh, really working hard. And then he decides he wants to take a few days off. I tell him to take some time off. You know, you got to rest your body. Uh, but anyway, the kid, he, he's pretty good. He's got some special speed about him. We can improve his techniques a little bit and we're all we're all trying to improve every single thing we're uh, I'm not Teddy Atlas up in here nor uh, is my is my son uh, Mike Tyson but we're aspiring to be so it's very good 
very good day. Very good day. I, you know, this is the hardest, even from the professional that came in. I just put up a little bit of, bit of footage with Joe with his pro, and the, the professional was 160. Uh, he worked a living crap out of Joe, but this was something special today, all this speed. And, uh, wow, I was in shock and awe at this kid's speed. So hopefully this kid will keep coming back. Uh, the other kid, he's a taller fella. Uh, so he's a little more fragile. He's more of a, a basketball type right now. But I believe he's going to continue. And I hope he continues too. Uh, those types end up, uh, when they build the body up some, they do good. They do good. And uh, so we're going to keep pushing forward. But I just thought I'd mention a little bit of this interesting day. And I'll probably be seeing these boys around the neighborhood over the weekend. And if I do, I'm going get to get them to WhatsApp some of this footage to Joe. And then we can download it on here from his telephone. And you'll see how damn fast this kid is, boy. Uh, boy, it was like a fast David and Goliath standing there. It was an event to behold. Uh, it was something special. But the kid, and the kid even had the instinct of not having a lot of boxing knowledge, but having boxed some. Uh, uh, when Joe got up on him, boy, he was, uh, he was grabbing Joe and holding on for dear life. And, I had to intervene a couple of times because Joe picked the guy up off the ground and I was scared to death Joe was going to body slam him on the mat. But, uh, I, uh, boy, they wrapped up like that a couple of times and were grappling and I was like, cut your shit out. And then the one time I had to, I had to really just go in there and I was like, that's enough shit out of both of you, which is fucking grabbing on and, uh, I had to get rough with both, even Joe, you know, Joe and the other guys. Like I seen the looks on your faces, and this ain't this ain't the time for it. And I told the little guys, like, you got a big heart, but don't think for one second Joe will break your jaw in a damn second. It just at will, you know. He'll catch you and floor you. I was like, be careful up in here, and I had to call Joe down. And uh, Joe don't normally get rattled like that at uh, sparring or anything. Well, I mean, we've had times or two when Joe was 13, uh, got set up and got Joe actually gassed out and got the shit beat out of him. Uh, so that stuff does happen, but uh, uh, this was a good thing. And uh, these boys, they're aggressive and uh, they want they want to fight. They're hitting these some bitches ain't ain't winning away. These kids are tough guys that like these kids out here fighting on the damn street. So uh, Joe was, Joe was surprised. He was like, "Dad, damn." Uh, you know, I'm kind of, you know, I'm not hitting full blast with my jab, but he's like, I was kind of hitting these guys, and uh, they're standing up to it real good. You know, so Joe was impressed too. So, uh, beautiful day. Everything going good. Hope you guys are doing well. And I'll end this like I normally end it. Uh, first, I want to say, if this fan's making noise on on the sound here, I apologize for that. I got a fan going. We are in hot Columbia. But uh, as usual, from now on up through the holiday season, prayers to all of you have a wonderful, peaceful, uh, serene holidays. That's our sincere prayer. From our family, all of us, me, my wife, uh, Joe, and my daughter that's in Canada right now studying, we vigorously pray, and it is our earnest hope that everybody 
that's here and all your families and all the people that you love have a wonderful and joyous holiday season and may Jesus bless all of you and uh, we'll talk to you soon I'll try to get another video out tomorrow uh, and hopefully Monday all three of these boys will be back I, I sure hope so I hope we don't lose one of them Joe's a little concerned we might lose one or two of them but I got every confidence they'll be back but we'll see blessings and love to you all and I hope, oh, and I also hope all of you have a wonderful and blessed weekend.